Hello there, friends. Thank you and welcome once again to Abinasia's Recipes. It's always a pleasure having you here. In today's video, I share with you how I made this huge part of Teozafi stew. You can call this Diuho stew or TZ stew. Let's get right into it. To the blender, I add in onion, ginger, garlic, habanero peppers, water, and then I'll blend. This blend will be used to steam my meat, and I have a lot of meat, so everything will go on the meat, guys. You can use any assorted meat of choice. I have cow foot, wele, or cow skin. I also have my goat tribe and beef tribe. I have beef and goat meat and then I'll add in a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of beef seasoning. I'll add my blended vegetables, rinse out the blender, I'll add it to it and then I'm adding in my liver and intestines which is goat intestines and chopped onion. I'll mix everything together and then I'll cover and steam it for about 15 minutes. Whilst the meat is steaming, I'll also begin steaming my vegetables. So I have about 12 medium-sized onion, lots of ginger, lots of habanero pepper, garlic, and I'll add water. I'll cover and steam it for about 10 to 15 minutes, but you have to check it from time to time to stir at the bottom. 15 minutes later, I'll check on my meat again, stir it up, and then I'll cover and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes we want to make sure that the goat tribe and the wele is very well cooked we don't want any hard meat and then i'll also go on to check my veggies and it is perfectly steamed so i'll remove it from flame and allow it to cool down completely before blending 20 to 25 minutes later my meat has cooked beautifully so i remove the beef and the goat meat and then i'll put it all on a tray I'll spray it and it will go into my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. You can also fry the meat if you want. You can air fry it or you can put it in the stew just the way it is. I'll go ahead to blend my steamed vegetables and then I'll set it on the side. To a pot, I added in my palm oil. You can use any amount of palm oil you want and then I added in some chopped onion, 12 ounces of tomato paste, blended fresh tomatoes, and allow it to fry for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring periodically. If today is your first time on this channel, a warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. 10 minutes later, I'll add in my blended vegetables. I blended it in two batches, so I'm adding all of it. We'll cover the stew and allow it to fry for about 10 minutes, stirring periodically. The meat that went into the oven is perfectly done, so I've removed it and then I'll set it on the side. At this point, I'll add in my shrimp and herring powder. This is a very important ingredient when you're making Teozafi stew, guys. It takes the stew to another level, so please don't leave this out. We'll stir it up and we'll cover and allow the stew to fry for about 10 minutes or until oil settles on top. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your love and always coming back to watch my videos. God bless you. We'll bring back the assorted meat that was cooked earlier on in the big pot. Yes. And then I'll transfer the tomato stew right on top of the meat, guys. The pot that I made the tomato stew in is pretty small. All that meat would not be able to fit in that small pot. So the best thing for me to do was to transfer the tomato stew right on top of the meat. And that is what you're seeing here, guys. This is by far my favorite way of making Chiozafi stew. There is no splattering involved. I'll add in my baked beef and goat meat and then we'll give it a good stir. Guys, this stew is so, so flavorful and delicious. The steaming of the vegetables prevent the stew from splattering. It is by far my favorite way of making big batches or even making Chiozafi stew. I'll garnish with extra habanero pepper for anyone that wants extra heat in their food and then we'll cover, allow it to simmer for about 15 minutes and the stew is ready. This stew is so, so, so delicious. It turned out beautiful. 
and i hope you give this a try guys if you do please kindly leave me a feedback and let me know how it turned out i'll also be sharing with you how i made this ayuyo soup and even the two okay so please stay tuned when i drop these two videos thank you so much for staying with me until this time i'll see you in my next video please stay safe and stay blessed bye guys